How's it going, guys? It's Rickster with Cure Audio. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to synthesize your own 808 hi-hats. There's kind of two reasons why I'd recommend doing this, because not only do you get your own um, sources for like sounds that you can use to get it more of a signature sound, but they're, for one, incredibly useful. Um, they're in most modern genres of music and like techno, trap, a lot of EDM has it, you know. And so I'm going to be doing this in Serum 2. And of course, yeah, we could look at the, schem uh, the schematic and kind of try to copy it, but like, we don't need to do that. So I'm going to be using Serum 2 because it's um, brand new, great synth. Um, so let's dive right into it. First thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set um, our first wavetable. We're only going to be using one to a square wave. Then what we're going to be doing basically is creating six individual square waves with a unison control, and we're going to detune them a ton. Because you can hear with like a lower detune amount. Right now my range is uh, two. I think by default, yeah, it's set to two. Um, basically, uh, when it's at lower values, you get um, the pitches are much closer. Like I think this is within um, like 30 cents. All of these are detuned from each other going off the numbers that I'm being shown in the plugin. But you can change that. If you make it really big, you can take it from this kind of really classic detuned synth sound to much more metallic atonal sounds. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the width down so everything's mono and we're going to set the blend right so every, um, every voice is basically in line. And now... It's all about finding a sweet spot, playing with the detune. Um, sometimes playing with the stack can be cool, um, but mainly it's the mode. This is kind of where you um, can dive into it. I really like um, exponential or the inverted. I think we'll stick with the inverted and I'm gonna turn the range up even more. Right? So this doesn't sound great, but it doesn't take much work to tune this now into a hi-hat. What we're going to do is we're going to just create a basic envelope, um, zero uh, sustain, turn the decay down, depending on if you want like an open hat or like a closed hat or even like a crash or something. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our effects and I like to put a little bit of distortion. Um, you can maybe set it to pre and set it to a high pass. And already, as you start sweeping away the low frequencies, you're just left with basically another hi-hat. To be totally honest, uh, since the distortion tends to mess with the dynamics of the signal, um, I'll typically put another envelope on the actual volume of the distortion. And now we can go back and we can play with this. We can go real crazy with it. You know, we could. Set it to random. So it randomly detunes all the notes every time you press a new note. But um, I think this is a great thing to learn because of just what it can teach you about what's just possible with very simple things like uh, basic waveforms, detuning, um, and then just some extreme EQ and distortion. A little peak right at like 8K. And now if you just, again, cut the lows after this distortion, 
This is now like an 808 hi-hat. Yeah, so we're going to put um, this preset up um, for you guys to grab for free. So yeah, guys, thanks for checking us out.